Hello everyone, welcome to h &S Automotive and thank you for taking an interest in this 2014 Subaru Outback. So in this video, we'll be doing a video walkthrough of this vehicle. I'll try to point out any imperfections the vehicle has and then we'll also go over some of the major features and functions of this vehicle. Now, before we get started, we would like to point out that we purchased this vehicle from an insurance company. It was involved in a minor fender bender, um, which wasn't uh, too extensive. Uh, but the vehicle had some damage towards um, on this rear quarter panel on the driver's side right over here. As you can see, there's still a little bit of an imperfection. Um, so basically, the vehicle was rear-ended um, and then it caused a uh, imperfection in this quarter panel over here. Uh, this was repaired by a professional body shop. Now, we did tell that body shop not to use any Bondo, so there are still um, small little dents uh, in this quarter panel. But uh, there's no Bondo used or anything like that, so still nice solid metal so not trying to hide anything but uh yeah so the vehicle was involved in a minor fender bender back here uh, but with that being said this vehicle does not have a salvage title salvage or rebuilt it's a clear wisconsin title so it's not a salvage or rebuilt or anything like that still retains its uh, clear uh, wisconsin title uh, now that we got that out of the way we'll get started with our video walkthrough at first i'll just kind of walk around the vehicle give you guys a general overview and then after that we will dive in a little bit deeper here we are coming around towards the back of the vehicle. And then here we are on the passenger side. And then from here, we will uh, dive in a little bit closer um, and start checking out the front. Um, now, uh, this vehicle does have 90,000 miles on the odometer. So some of the uh, things I may point out might just be normal wear and tear, but I'll try to do my best to, you know, just point out anything that I see. Starting with the front bumper cover, um i actually don't see a whole lot of uh imperfections now this is a one owner vehicle so it and it's definitely been taken care of uh given the condition and all that stuff so it's a one owner subaru um so the previous owner definitely took care of this so we might not see a whole lot of imperfections and then checking out the headlights nice and clear no haziness or anything like that now it is raining outside so which is why this vehicle is wet but uh and checking out the grill nice and clean no imperfections there and then checking out the hood of the vehicle now i'm looking for any dents or scratches or you know whatever imperfection that i can see uh, but overall this vehicle is in very good condition so i'm not going to see a whole lot and then here we are on the driver's side checking out the fender i guess there's a little bit of a dent right over here nothing major but uh, it is there nonetheless uh, checking out the tires tires on this vehicle are in very good condition Plenty of tread left for many more miles to come. And then checking out the rims as well. Nice and clean, no issues there. And then moving on to the driver's side door. I don't see any imperfections on the driver's side door. Um, I guess this little plastic has, but this is just rubbing off. So I just, just residue on there. Um, checking out the driver's side rear door. Once again, nice and clean other than just a little plastic scrape mark right over here. Um, and then moving on to the driver's side quarter panel. Now, like I said, um, these are the little dents that I'm talking about um, that the body shop uh, was going to fill it, uh, fill it out with Bondo, but we instructed them not to. Um, but uh, not, it's hardly noticeable, but we are just being up front and erring on the side of caution and just kind of advising people that there's uh, small dents right over here. And then moving on, checking out the rear bumper cover. Once again, nice and clean, no issues there. And then checking out the rear deck lid, nice and clean. Um, as you guys can see, this vehicle is an all wheel drive as with uh, most Subarus. And then coming around towards the passenger side of the vehicle, nice and clean on this side no issues here and then checking out the rear door once again nice and clean no dents or scratches that i can see right off the bat and then all right so and then lastly onto the fender which is clean as well all righty guys so from here we will check out the interior of the vehicle Take the key out so it stops beeping at us. 
All right, so checking out the driver's side door. We got some uh, power windows, power door locks, and then power mirrors as well. The power mirror operation is right over here. And then as you can see, door is nice and clean. And then here, I'll just give you guys an overview of the interior. This vehicle is very well kept. There's absolutely no stains on the cloth seats whatsoever. Um, nice and clean. So it's very, very well kept. So we'll climb into the interior and then I will start this vehicle up. Put my seat belt on so it stops yelling at us. Alrighty guys. So as you can see, we got uh, 93,000 miles on the odometer right over there. There's no check engine light or anything like that. This blue light that you guys are seeing, that's just uh, signifying that the vehicle is still cold. The engine is not at operating temperature, but that goes away once the vehicle reaches operating temperature. All right, so moving on, checking out the steering wheel. We got some steering wheel mounted controls. Got the cruise control on the right side of the steering wheel. So to turn it on or off, it's just this little switch right over here. And then to accelerate or decelerate, just this little toggle switch right there. On the other side, we got our audio controls for the vehicle, uh, adjusting the volume, flipping through tracks, and then to answer or disconnect your phone is just done right from the steering wheel. And in the middle, we got our typical Subaru horn. And then behind the steering wheel, we got our old turn signal stocks which doubles as headlight operation and high beams. And on the other side, we got our wiper controls. So everything is nice and functional there. And then checking out the dashboard. As you guys can see, nice and clean, no rips or tears or anything like that. Uh, we got a nice little screen right over there, which gives you the ambient temperature as well as the clock. And then right over here, we got a mini screen um, and then this also doubles as our backup camera, as you can see, nice and clear. Tells you what you need to know. And then the audio controls for the vehicle, we have CD and AUX, AM, FM, satellite radio, and then, um, you know, just your basic uh, audio controls that you would find in a typical Subaru. And then this is a CD insert right over there. Everything works great, no issues there. We got a little storage cubby right over here. Still gotta figure out how to open this. Oh, there you go. So, great place to put your wallet or phone or anything like that. And on the bottom, we got our climate controls for the vehicle. The uh, fan control is right over here. Temperature control is right there. And then the vent controls are just these buttons right over here. Got your hazards right there. And then additional storage right over here. And then once again, like I said earlier, automatic transmission. And then right over here, we got the heated seats for the driver and the passenger. And then two cup holders right over here and then additional storage in this uh, armrest right there. And then we got your glove box right over here. Still got the warranty books or the owner's manual right in there. So, alrighty. And then right over here, we've got the sunroof for the vehicle. So it slides back. and then flips up as well. Nice and smooth operation. All right, so from here, we will check out the rear seating area. Right over here, we've got the rear door, as you guys can see, nice and clean. And uh, the rear seats, once again, I don't think they've ever been used. They are absolutely stain free, so very nice interior in this vehicle and then we'll open up the trunk we got a nice little Subaru mat right over here so you know the carpet is nice and clean underneath and then these seats do flip forward opening up all this room for additional storage if you guys need to transport any furniture or whatever the case may be so seats just fold flat and uh, opens up a whole lot of room as you guys can tell the vehicle is currently running so nice and smooth running engine, but we'll take a closer look right now in the engine bay. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we are in the engine bay for this vehicle. So I'll just kind of be quiet for a second, let you guys take a listen.
So as you guys can tell, nice and smooth running engine, no odd noises or vibrations. I mean, this thing is, runs like a top. And then as you guys can see, no oil leaks at all either. Alrighty guys. So from here, we will put the vehicle on the lift and take a look at the undercarriage. Alrighty guys. So as you can see, we've got the Subaru up here on the lift. So we will check out the undercarriage of the vehicle. I'll start from the front and work my way towards the back. Alrighty, starting with the engine and transmission, we got the engine right over here and then right over here is where the transmission lives. So as you guys can see, no oil leaks whatsoever, nice and clean underneath. Same goes for the transmission as well. And then right over here, we got the passenger side front suspension. Uh, CV boots are nice and clean. So if these were ripped or torn, we would see grease all over the place. But as you can see, it is nice and dry under here. Everything is properly mounted and secured. No suspension noises either. And then right over here, we got the driver's side. Once again, same story over here. CV boots are nice and intact. And then everything is properly mounted and secured. Got some nice beefy lower control arms right over here. And then right here is the subframe for the vehicle. As you can see, no corrosion issues. Um, so nice and clean there. And then we will just move this apparatus out of the way and then take a look at the middle of the vehicle so right over here is the structural component of the vehicle so still got the factory coating on it so no corrosion issues whatsoever right over here we've got the rocker panels nice and solid in case you guys need to jack up the vehicle for whatever reason no issues there and then so we are facing the front of the vehicle at the moment uh, once again you know transmission is nice and clean you still got the uh, padding on the side so and then right over here as you guys can see no leaks whatsoever so this vehicle was very very well kept as you guys can tell so with it being uh 10 years old and almost 100,000 miles you cannot tell from underneath so nice and clean there and then right over here we got our exhaust running right towards the back no exhaust leaks or anything like that and then this is the passenger side uh structural portion of the uh, vehicle once again, nice and clean, no corrosion issues. And then right over here is the passenger side rocker panel. Once again, still has the factory coating on there, so no corrosion issues whatsoever. Uh, moving on towards the back, taking a look at the rear suspension. Got the rear control arms right over here, sway bar links, and then brake calipers right over here. Everything's properly mounted and secured, no issues. And then right over here is the rear diff. It's not leaking or anything like that. There's not even seepage on this uh, diff. So very good to see. And then right over here is the rear passenger side suspension. And then like I pointed out the CV shafts up in the front, you know, these are um, intact as well. So no grease or anything like that. And then right over here, we got our exhaust coming out towards the back. And then this is where the spare tire lives. And then right over here, once again, is our rear frame rail for the vehicle. Nice and straight. And then nice and straight on this side as well. So no issues there. Um, like I said, the uh, accident that this vehicle was involved in, um, it was just mostly just cosmetic. No structural issues whatsoever. No airbags deployed. So um, at most, it was a fender bender. Um, and then right over here, we got a small little hitch. I don't think it's ever been used but uh, it is there in case you guys have a small trailer. The vehicle is already pre-wired for trailers, so great to see there. And then here's a good look at the tires from the bottom. So plenty of tread left on these bad boys. And then going up back towards the front, once again, taking a look at the tires. Good for plenty more miles to come. Alrighty guys, so this concludes our video walkthrough of this 2014 Subaru Outback. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to ask and we'll be happy to get those answered for you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.